No more than a trip to the dentist. Thousands of people in the Tulsa area are facing a serious threat to their health this morning. Tulsa County Health officials are investigating Dr. Scott Harrington, a local dentist who they say has potentially exposed as many as 7,000 patients to HIV and hepatitis B and C. 2 News reporter Patricia Santos continues our coverage of the story. She's live in Midtown Tulsa. Patty. Hey, good morning. Well, these are very serious health concerns. And just a few minutes ago, I had a woman stop here and talk to me. She was in near tears. Uh, she didn't want to go on camera, but she tells me she was very concerned about what this could mean for her toddler and her eight year old who were both treated here uh, by Dr. Harrington. She tells me herself as well as her husband were also treated. Now, the Tulsa Health Department is asking everyone to stay calm and to get tested. Dr. Harrington here has voluntarily closed his office offices. Now we spoke with another one of his former patients, Michael Hodson, now 17. He was only five years old when he went to the Dr. Harrington's practice. The Tulsa Health Department says infected patients may not show symptoms of hepatitis B or hepatitis C and HIV for years. Officials urge anyone who has visited Harrington's office to see a doctor. Hodson's mother says she's not going to panic, but the news of a possible exposure has her losing trust in and those who are supposed to help. It just makes you a little more cautious. I mean, because you can't inspect and in everything that everybody does. You have to go on faith it's to some extent. But you know, when it comes to your child, you know, you got to do what you got to do. The Tulsa Health Department says it is rare for diseases to be transmitted in a dental office. The department is offering free testing. The health department is offering free testing to Harrington's patients. Uh, the testing will be done at the North Regional Health and Wellness Center on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard starting tomorrow and Monday. Live in Midtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you.